hello my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs this is going to be for sagittarius sun moon rising and venus i want to wish every single one of you guys uh, the best start of the month i hope that this month brings to you everything that you're hoping um, let's get into your reading sagittarius let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of september 2021 now your first card here it's the Eight of Pentacles. So we're talking about working at a situation or putting effort and energy towards um, something that is really requiring a lot of attention, a lot of uh, focus. Um, when we're talking about... when we're talking about certain things that are happening behind the scenes. So be attentive, uh, pay a lot of attention. Don't leave any stones unturned, uh, Sagittarius, for the month of September. I feel that a lot of you guys are going to be getting opportunities that are gonna be coming your way when we're talking about career and finances, but you really have to like really put attention um, and embrace your intuition, Sagittarius. I feel that a lot of Sagittarians are naturally very intuitive. Um, and what they're telling you here is, you know, it's going to be very important to pay attention to detail uh, or details uh, when we're talking about making decisions that have to do with your career and with your finances. Now, your next card here is the Seven of Swords. Okay. The Queen of Cups, very interesting energy here. Six of Cups, the Two of Wands, Page of Pentacles here. Six of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Ace of Swords. Okay. All right, Sagittarius. So what they're showing me here is a lot of you guys are going to be going through this transition in the month of September where certain things that were hidden are going to be coming out to the open. Um, again, if we go back to that of listening to your intuition, I feel that for some of you, you've been ignoring your intuition or making excuses for other people's behavior. Um, going against your intuition or your better judgment, Sagittarius. Now, with the Six of Cups here, we are talking about making excuses for those that we care, for those that we love. Um, it's almost like not really wanting to face or not really see someone for who they really are, even though they've given you a multitude of reasons why not to trust them for some of you guys you may be dealing with this type of situation in regards to your relationships partnerships um, there are definitely certain things that are being kept hidden that are they're being secretive about but i feel you've been uh having this feeling or having this intuition of of them, you know, keeping those things under wrap. It almost feels like, it almost feels like you are feeling, offended because it's almost like they, they, the deceiving is like they're doing the deceiving like with open eyes. Um, it's, it's kind of like I'm feeling very offended and the offense doesn't come necessarily from what they're doing. It has more to do like, how can you lie to me? How can you look me straight in the eyes and deny certain things? That type of, that type of, you know, um, that type of offense is what I'm feeling. For some of you guys, this could be in regards to a relationship. Uh, for those of you guys that have been in a long-term uh, committed relationship, it almost feels like you've been putting a lot of effort, you've been putting a lot of energy trying to fix something that is broken. Um, and when I say broken with the High Priestess here and the Seven of Swords, 
someone is definitely being sneaky and they're not being completely honest or transparent with you. And though you may already been sensing this for a while, you've been ignoring that that feeling, that gut feeling. And it almost comes to a culmination in the month of September where whatever perception you had of this individual or this person is going to be completely changed. And I see you being very upset again, not at the act itself, but it has more to do like, how can you lie to me? How could after everything I told you, after every all the hurt I've been through and I express this to you, um, you still go behind my back and do everything that I told you I went through. Uh, that type of that type of feeling, that type of hurt is what I'm sensing here. Now, right at the center, you do have the two of wands, which indicates to me partnerships and relationships. So you're going to be experiencing um, you're going to be experiencing this. And I want to say eye opening because it's almost like it's almost like they've portrayed themselves to be a, a certain type of person or personality. And it's like, like, again, I'm getting very strongly like you've been knowing or you've been intuitively picking up on deception. And it's like you've refused to see that or to listen to your intuition because you're coming from a loving place. However, it's, it, you know, with with the Six of Pentacles here, it, it's never been a give and take. It's always been either over giving on your part, over giving whether it's in assistance of finances, over giving in assistance of trust, of loyalty, uh, whatever the situation may be. But I do see it uh, coming to a culmination here where there's going to have to you're going to have to change your dynamic, Sagittarius. It's almost like you continuously keep going through this cycle um, of allowing people to deceive you. Now, this could be vice versa because it is a general reading. So if you're the one that's being deceptive, Sagittarius, it's coming to a halt, to a culmination um, in the month of September. And it's like the person that you've been deceiving or the person that you've been lying to or keeping things hidden from is going to see you in a very completely different in a very different i a very different aspect it's like um you know their blindfold is coming off and they're seeing you really for who you are for some of you guys it could be a situation where you're still dealing with the baby or uh the baby mama or the baby father um while trying to maintain a relationship or trying to build the relationship um giving false hope only to keep them at bay so they're not, you know, making your life more difficult, but there's going to be a situation that comes up in the month of September where you're going to have to address that situation. Um, for others of you, it could just represent that uh, the people that you're dealing with, you're not really paying attention to um, when they're being deceptive or when they are doing petty shit that they shouldn't be doing. It's like, when do you get to the point of stop? Like, when do you get to the point of accepting this is a shitty person? Um, and there's changes that need to happen. And in order for you, for the betterment of you, if they're not willing to change, it's time, it's time you start pulling away and pulling your energy back. Because I do see for a lot of you guys, there's like, you're going to have to deal with the situation. But at the same time, it's giving you clarity of mind, meaning... You're not going to be able to go back to what you once thought. It's going to change your perspective, but it's for the betterment of you because you're either you're going to be either able to make the decision to pull away from this person or you're going to make the choice of understanding they're better off, you know, at arm's length, not fully trusting them or not fully giving them your trust until they prove to you through actions that they're going to be doing or giving as much as you have up until now, Sagittarius. For those of you guys that are, you know, have been working really hard towards a relationship, wanting to stabilize it because you're wanting some type of commitment, but you've been feeling like things are off. You've been, you know, intuitively picking up on this energy. They're telling you. Either you deal with it now or you don't and you pretend like you're not sensing this but it will come to a culmination in the month of september where you're going to have to address it and see things for what they really are 
and stop sweeping things under the rug. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you some type of insight and we will see each other um, the next reading. Till then, bye.